So let's take a chemical technique. Um, let's do long kimono. Okay, so what's the attack? Left hand grab on shoulder. Left hand grab on shoulder, left hand grab to the right side of the body. Yeah. Okay, so Adam grabs it. Where's the threat? Ah, that's a different measure. Okay. Now then, if I don't feel threatened, why would I, why would I react? Right. Okay. So he grabs me now, and now I feel threatened. Okay, there. I'm stepping away because obviously you know you're trying to retract, move yourself away from the the, the incoming weapon. And with long kimono, we're going against the arm. All right. So how and when do I actually work the break? When he steps in. When he steps. Don't be afraid to answer. When and when and how do you think I work the break on the arm? When he steps in. When, not how. Well, yeah, I did say it, but when, when, when about? As you're going in. As I'm going in. Okay, so. But what happens if before he's you? What, going in, you want to step what happens out. before you're grabbed? What can? What must happen before you're grabbed? It's got to happen before you're grabbed. When you're grabbed for real, it's got to happen. You have to feel it. Okay. When somebody grabs you for real, the first thing they do is this. They push you. If they mean it, they ain't going to come up to you and go, oh, this. <laughs> because if Adam came in and grabbed me like that by pushing me, I'm just going to hit him. Mm -hmm. I won't even need long key multi there. <clears throat> but he's going to come up and he's going to push me before he pulls me. Mm -hmm. Okay? So as he pushes me, that's when I work the break. Okay, but I'm working in a relaxed manner. My arm's nice and relaxed, no tension in it whatsoever. That allows me to work this way. Up. Okay. Now it depends on his reaction, really, what I do next. All right. From here, he's turned a little bit too much for me to complete the technique as I would. So I'd most probably go into something like the twin complete in there, bring him back. Then I break down on the arm there, and then come into reversing mace, something like that. On that situation, because we're talking real world now. We're not talking structured Kempel base technique. But in the base technique, as he pushes, he's coming in with the other hand, he's straightening his arm, so I want to take care of that one. So he's pushing me away to pull me into this. Okay, if it bends, I may be lucky to do that. I wouldn't guarantee it. Okay, because he is now creating what? What's he creating as he pulls back in? Is that called What's this? Tension or what's the principle okay, straighten my arm. arm. Anchoring. Yeah, anchoring. anchoring. If anchoring works for us, it's got to work for him as well. Sure. So if he anchors his arm, yeah, it's, it's not yeah. going to work. And all the time I'm doing that, he's hitting me in the face. <clears throat> bang, bang, and in the end it's over. Okay, I could get him to straighten his arm by putting a strike into the face. That would work. But we've got to look at it in real world situations. He pushes me away. As he pushes me away, that's when, I, well, that's when I'm starting to act. But I can only act if I'm relaxed. If I'm tense, I'm waiting for it. This is going to slow up because my tension is going to, going to put the brakes on. So as he pushes away, I go with it. <laughs> there's the brake. Yeah. Okay. Then I can come up. I can hammer down through the arm because you know, hopefully this is broken this way yeah. if we do it correctly. Hopefully his, his, his arm is now like that. Okay. Which is a, a it's like a I don't know what sort of break it's called when you go against the joint. Okay. When we come out, we compound it by hitting into the joint whoop, that way. So not only is it broken that way, it's now broken that way. So the elbow joint's completely destroyed. That should be it, over and done with. <clears throat> However, you in this country must know as well as our country, some people through uh, substance abuse, pain is not really any threat to them. So if this arm is now out of use, okay, because the, the um, elbow's damaged, and it isn't no use to him, he may still be able to lift his shoulder, but if the joint's gone, he's not going to have the muscular move to, to move it potentially possibly could do, but it's not going to be as effective as this. He's still going to want to come in with this arm. Yeah. So this is when, as I've done this, I've come out, as he comes in with that arm, bam, that's when I come down on that one, and then come back in with a hand sword. So all the time, we're thinking about what is the next thing that's going to come at me. Do you understand what I mean? Sure. Okay, okay so when you do long kimono, I want your partner to come up and hand on and push, okay? What I don't want you to do is, is, no, is, is push me straight away. Okay, there, and take a stance. Whatever happens, I just want you to go back. Just push me back. Just go with it. Just lift your arm, relax under that joint. Now, some people like to turn the arm, okay? 
I personally like an uppercut punch right onto the elbow. That's my personal choice. You do whatever you feel you, you want to do is, is comfortable there. But I want you to learn to go with it and don't anticipate it. So as he pushes, bang. And you work slowly to begin with. Don't work fast to begin with, all right? So then you come out, compound the fracture through, and then come back. If he's coming in with his punch, rock it, hand sword, you can go into five swords if you want to from there and do whatever you want. You can play with it as much as you like, I don't mind. But the important thing is that opening sequence of the push away and using the timing as he pushes you away to straighten that arm and allow it to, to break. Then you can go, okay, I'm a little bit asleep. He gets it on, I'm shocked. Oh, and he's starting to pull me into the punch. And that's when you can go into putting an insert in across the eyes to make him straighten the arm again. All right? So to begin with, the push away, on the push away. This, this, and this, all at the same time. Remember, we want to get rid of which word in the Kempo vocabulary? And. And. And we put which word in its place? With. With. Okay, so with the principle of with in there, with. Okay? And break. And then from there, compound against the joint this way. Because ideally, he'd turn his back to me. Oh, yes! Ah! All right? Sir. Yeah! Into the sleeper. Okay? Not sleeper, fat breaker. Sorry, wait. Like, okay, so partner up and try that. Okay, there you get on. <laughs> Don't care. <kill him. laughs> now, this is that heavy punch we've been practicing. There. Now from here. Aye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. He doesn't see it coming. It's now I don't help. We don't trace the body because that will slow it up. Okay. We hit and retract very slightly so it clears the body, still under his peripheral vision, and then it just goes. No. That sets his head up. And it's okay. So go from here. There's the break. As he's pushing, he's pushing me away. One. There's the break. Yeah. Okay. There's the compound into a block maybe. One. There's the hand sword to the neck, okay? From here, I check down the arm. Try and cross it over a strike. Straighten him up. This is, if it's going into the chest, it can hit. Going under the arm, it can help straighten him up. Grab the chest and hold him there, okay? From here, we slightly drop into the stomach, pop under the chin. So it's bop two. And then from there, this one just comes up, bang, straight into the jaw. And then as I'm leaving, you haven't got a groin guard on, have you? Nope. Run backwards. <laughs> and we take the groin as you go, if you want to. This is an added suffix on the end, okay? Sir. So let's just run through that form. Let's just run through it form facing this way. Okay, so from here, we have the basic. There's our push. We take take it back and we use width. Check, break, center. Okay, from here, we come out. I tell him, I tell him the, the young ladies, okay, here to hold on to their ears like that. Okay, and point your elbow to the side. This way they're in a cocked position, okay? Because you're a little bit too tight to the arm, you're not going to get traveled enough to break that elbow into the opposite uh, against the joint. So from there, then there's your break. One, through. Potentially into a stop and inward block, okay? And there's the final hand sword. Now from here, we check down. If you can check the arm into their body, that's great. Front cross over, drive the punch into the solar plexus. From here, unwind, grab there left shoulder as you put an elbow into their right shoulder to square them up. Now from here, I'll do it this side for you guys, we go into a very short forward bow into the solar plexus. As soon as their body reacts to that and the head comes down, this hand just pops straight up. No stance change. Pop, pop, like that. That's it. In and up. And from there, their head's up, drop the left hand and come around with the right hook right across the face. The left hook, sorry, not right hook, because I'm on the opposite side. Yeah, left hook, and then from there, scoop if you want to as you're moving away. Always take something away with you, with you, you know, leave them with a good feeling. <coughs> All right, one more time. So from here, one, two, three, check down, four, unwind, check and grab, punch to the solar stops, lower than the solar punch to take them down, up under the chin, and hook, and cover right. Okay, new partner, try that.